My man's all make tracks like this. I want to give everyone a quick demonstration of some of the new features we have now in this recent update of Studio One 4.1.2. So the first thing, which is the biggest thing, is there's been an update to how Studio One handles versions. And I got to give a huge thank you to PreSonus and the development team for Studio One 4 because I've been asking for this feature for maybe two or three years now. And I'm so glad that it is finally here. Uh, you've seen me do a few videos on where you would save your song as a new version. And at the top of the session, we now have where it will, will display what you've named that version. Uh, for me, I've got Mix 1.4 up here. It can be a acapella version, instrumental, radio version, any different version that you do. When you go to save new version now, uh, you have some options here for incremental version, and you know, anything I named there will now show up next to the session at the top. This is, uh, like I said, I've been asking for this for a few years now, so very excited that that is now added to Studio One 4. Uh, the next thing is time stretching now shows in the audio editor. So take this last track here, pull up the audio editor, and if we time stretch it, you'll see that that also follows in the editor. Another new feature we have is your recent files. Right-click here and go to Clear Recent Files. We now have a pop-up that's uh, asking you, are you sure that you want to do this before you commit because it can't be done? Uh, haven't had any problems with this, but I guess obviously uh, someone has accidentally cleared these files without that warning being there before this recent update. So there's a quick look at three features we have added to Studio One 4.1.2. Of course, with the Studio One update, we have a bunch of bug fixes uh, as well. Uh, to see all the changes, you can go to blog.presonus.com. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time.